Okay, so we're gonna do a classic chit chat get ready with me. First, gonna prime with the NYX Bear With Me Radiant Perfecting Primer. This has been my favorite for like a few months now. It makes your skin look really smooth, and I noticed that my makeup stays on a lot longer when I wear this, so. For a while, I was just using SPF as primer, but sometimes it doesn't mix well with other products, whereas this always works. Gonna go in with my Precisely My Brow Pencil in at number five. You can see I'm wearing a wig right now, but I've been wanting to dye my hair lately. I'm just so scared to ruin the health of my hair because I was really trying to focus on hair health for a while. That's why I chopped off a bunch of my hair. Other than that, ever since 2020 started really, I started like actually making a daily routine for myself because once you are out of school, it's really hard to keep yourself in check and just because there's no clear outlined routine, you have to really discipline yourself. That's what I've been trying to do lately and I've been trying to work out pretty frequently too. 2018 was when I gained a lot of weight. It was my first year out of the house, so it's basically like freshman 15 if I did go to college. So I was just eating whatever I wanted and plus it's LA, you know, like LA has such good food. But yeah, recently I've been cooking and working out every single day. Still trying to figure out when my rest days should be because uh, I've been doing interval running and I got um, I got like a running injury I need to figure out like the balance between because if I injure myself I can't work out and if I can't work out then it's gonna throw me off schedule and I will not have my clear outlined everyday routine anymore so for goals this year I want to be more healthy and I've done a really good job I've actually been planning everything out I know I mentioned on Instagram that I was gonna do a diet vlog but I think I'm actually gonna hold off on that until I figure out a clear diet plan because it's been really messy trying to put this video together. For me, if things don't go perfectly, then I get annoyed. But I did get this study planner. This is the study planner and I actually use it as a diet planner. So a lot of it is in Korean, but it doesn't really matter because I just reorganize it to be a diet planner. I'll just write in it how much I'm eating and how much I'm exercising, what I do every day. And it's really helpful because then I can see the progress I'm making and just track it all down. If you're a planner like me or you like bullet journaling and stuff like that, and you're also trying to become more healthy, I would recommend doing that. I wanted to use the new Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they basically are just mini eyeshadow palettes like this. They have quite a few with different color schemes, but this is what I took on vacation to Florida with me. You bring the backs of each of the palettes together, and you snap it like that. And then you basically have two eyeshadow palettes in one with different color schemes. It's a really smart idea, I think. Whoever's on product development for Fenty is doing a really good job. I'm just gonna do a light peach shade. I'm getting a little sick if you guys can hear my voice. This I would normally use as maybe a transition shade for something more peachy like an orange eye look, but today we're gonna use it all over the eyelid. On the other eye, I'm gonna start with that in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with a darker, like more corally shade. Next, we're gonna do eyeliner. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup in Nude 40. I don't know if I got lighter, so this might not be my shade anymore, but we'll see. Hmm. Let's just go back to my Too Faced Born This Way in Almond. This one I feel like is too light for me, but maybe we can mix them together. Are there any like makeup launches you guys are excited for? I think I was most excited about these Fenty Beauty eyeshadows because I feel like we've all been waiting for them to come out with like matte eyeshadows for a while now. I'm always excited for Fenty because I think their product packaging is so unique. Okay, I'm gonna mix the two foundations this time. Other 
life updates. Um, I haven't been posting in a while. I was home for the holidays and whenever I'm home, I really don't like using my phone. I just want to make the most of the time while I'm there. Honestly, very much needed because I feel like I'm always on my phone. Um, that's why this year I'm also trying to find more hobbies that don't require me looking at a screen. Um, I want to read more books this year. I miss reading just for fun rather than to learn something. So I want to read more like fantasy books. Those were the ones I used to really like. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Oh, by the way, this is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. And then another hobby I'm trying to take up again is piano. So if you guys don't know, I used to play piano. I took lessons for probably nine years or a little bit longer maybe. Um, and then I quit in high school and I kind of regret it. I was playing mostly classical piano back then, but my sister printed out Howl's Moving Castle's The Merry-Go-Round of Life. And she was a lot better than me at piano. She was older and her fingers were longer, like more developed or whatever. So it was just a lot easier for her to hit the keys. But now that I'm older, I can reach more keys. Like my hands are pretty big. Right. So whenever I go home, I try to play that one piece and I always master the first page. I master the first page and then I go back to LA and then I'm like, I forget all of it. So like, I don't know if I can master the whole piece this year, but one of my goals is to be able to play piano again. Like, not struggle to read music so much. I was talking to my friend Osmond about taking piano lessons again. So that's what we might do, but... Not sure yet. Might try to just play at home a little bit first. Oh yeah, also I asked my parents for a keyboard for Christmas and they got me one. So they're gonna ship it out soon since it did not fit in my suitcase. So I'm gonna use my Focalure powder. So I'm actually gonna use the eyeshadow as a blush. I think I did this recently. I used this middle shade as a blush and it looked really cute. So I'm gonna do that again. And a cool thing you could do too is, since the brush is shaped like this, you can tap it into both of the shadows at the same time and you could create a little bit of a gradient blush that way. If you want it to, I might do that. Blend, please. Ah. Let's, let's do this again. Try this side. Yes, you see that's... Huh? It's always really difficult. Like, I love using eyeshadows as blushes because they are so pigmented, but it's really hard to diffuse because eyeshadows are meant to be more pigmented. and then we'll go back to the eyes. Oh, actually, I'm gonna add some beauty marks. Also, I wanna get back to having more fun with makeup this year. Like, I wanna do more looks like my ocean wavy makeup look. I feel like for a while, I didn't wanna do a lot of avant-garde makeup because for a while, I honestly didn't wanna stand out. Like, I didn't like looking at myself. Was just not happy with my life work, living situation. It's like when you don't want people to look at you and you want to sort of like disappear, you're not gonna do makeup that makes you stand out. And so for a long time, I wasn't really playing with makeup or practicing or trying to improve myself like I usually always do. And yeah, I was just really unhappy for a long time, which I've already talked about on my channel, so I'm not gonna go too deep into it. But that's why I wasn't playing around with avant-garde makeup. I just wanna practice doing fun makeup again. So that's what we're doing this year. I'm gonna dip into my Maron face palette. Oh, this thing's so hard to open. Okay, so obviously we're going to be taking that yellow. Look how huge this is. Mmm, smells so good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna use my NYX Bear With Me spray, and then I'm gonna take a small detailing brush, and then I'm gonna start outlining the square over my eye. Straight. 
It's okay, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. this is turning out. So I just applied falsies underneath my lashes and changed this contact lens. Now I'm gonna apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I put all my curse out on the table You and